over here. Uh, so obviously you're taking on a legend of Frankie Edgar. It's only, it's only a few days away. So what are the emotions uh, leading into this fight right now? Uh, I'm all in, you know, I'm excited. Uh, weight's looking good. Uh, firing on all cylinders. I'm excited, just ready to get in there. When they came to you with the name Frank Edgar, was that a name that you had foreseen, like maybe like I could get this retirement fight because he had been talking about retirement for a while. He'd been talking about fighting Dominic Cruz, obviously. Um, when they came to you, with, were you surprised that they presented you with Frankie Edgar? Mm, no, not really. You know, um, I, I earned my spot here. So, uh, you know, I, uh, I came off a really good win back in March, and uh, I stayed, stayed in the gym, stayed focused, and I kept my head down and kept working. And uh, I believe life comes full circle. So, uh, you know, I, I earned my shot, and uh, when the opportunity came knocking, I was ready. Were you a fan of Frankie when you were coming up? Of course. You know, who, who's, who hasn't been a fan? You know, I respect Frankie for what he's done. He's a pioneer. He's paved the way for a lot of us coming up. So, uh, yeah, I have respect for him as an athlete. Because of that, is there part of you that's kind of looking at this as a little bit bittersweet, right? You know, having Frankie on your resume is going to be awesome, but to be the guy that retired him and sent a legend off on a loss, that could be a little bit bittersweet if you're a big fan of it, no? Uh, no, not really. Uh, you know, my job is to go in there and win. Uh, uh, it's not no bittersweet. He's he's had his run, you know. Um, like I said, he's he's done amazing thing for sports. Uh, yeah, um, no, it's not a bittersweet at all. Cool. Are you anticipating being the bad guy in there on Saturday? I mean, I'm from the East Coast. I'm from New Jersey myself. So, I mean, yeah, I'm sure he's gonna have a lot of uh, a lot of love here. But at the end of the day, man, I'm not fighting the crowd. I'm fighting him. So, whether I get booed or not, I don't give a shit really. Chris, I know you recently had elbow surgery, cleaned some stuff up. How did the elbow affect your previous fights? They hurt, <laughs> especially the last one. Uh, when I was hitting them with elbows, I could feel every, every time I hit them, I could feel the uh, bone spurs and everything moving around. So, yeah, it was painful, but, you know, like I said, I got a job to do. Hello? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, you said, you know, it's not really a bittersweet uh, situation or anything for you, but, you know, recently we've seen some MMA fighters retire and they've kind of kept it to themselves. They haven't made it public and they haven't told anyone until, you know, after the fight. Were you surprised that he was so voc vocal about it beforehand? About him retiring? Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know. That's a question for him. Mm -hmm. uh, Yeah, I don't know what to say about that one. <laughs> and, and, you know, a legend of the sport, Frankie Edgar, you know, what do you think a win over someone like him does for you and your career? Yeah, I just think, uh, you know, I keep, uh, it puts me in a better position. I keep climbing the rankings, and uh, ultimately that's what we're here to do. And how do you see your hand getting raised in Madison Square Garden this weekend? How do I, I mean, uh, I'll find a way. I always do. Okay, thank you. Yes, ma'am. Chris, right in front of you. Um, sometimes when we see these legendary fighters kind of wind down, they make a retirement announcement, uh, we don't really know where their skills are. For you, do, where do you feel like Frankie's skills are at this point in his career? Do you feel like he's still a, a pretty elite um, fighter? Yeah, I mean, fr Frankie is, uh, you know, he, like I said, he's a legend in the sport. Uh, he's done amazing things. It's still Frankie at the end of the day, you know. I'm not going to take anything away from the guy. He's still a dangerous fighter. And that's why I'm treating this fight like I treat every other fight. It's a championship fight. It's the best fighter in the world that I'm fighting. And, uh, yeah, man, I'm excited. Thanks. Hey, Chris, over here. Uh, you mentioned earlier, obviously, from Jersey, you know, from the New York City area. How's it feel, you know, play, uh, fighting in Madison Square Garden? And at least last time I checked, the biggest favorite, uh, male favorite on the entire card. How's that feel, man? Um, that's a first for me. You know, uh, I've always been the, uh, the underdog in everything I've done in life. So... Whether I'm the, you know, the underdog or, you know, the favorite, I don't really look at that. Um, but to answer your question, fighting in Madison Square Garden, man, it's a dream come true. You know, it's a, it's a mecca for, for combat sports. 
the greats have fought here. Muhammad Ali, Mike Tyson, you know, all these greats have come through here and and, and graced us with their, you know, with their amazing performances. And for me to be able to be here and coming from where I come from, man, it's, uh, man, I said, I, I'm excited. There's a lot of emotions that, that go into it. You know, I always look back at my journey up here, you know. Statistically, I'm winning in life. You know, I'm not supposed to be here. So uh, the fact that I am here and I am doing good is just, uh, it gives me more motivation to keep pushing forward. What's up, man? What's do up? you uh, do you feel more excitement, or uh, do you lean into more of the pressure side, fighting so close to home? I'm assuming you got friends and family coming to watch you. No, there's no pressure at all with me. Uh, like I said, uh, coming from where I come from and being here, man, it's uh, it's a win for me. Uh, so even just being here with you guys, man, it's uh, it's amazing. So I'm enjoying the opportunity. I'm present in the moment. And uh, Saturday night, I'll be present as well, and uh, I'll get my hand raised. Yeah, all gratitude. Thank you. Quick, quick, sorry, one last question. I know y'all got some more questions. Come on, damn it. So as a local from the area in MSG, at, some people don't want to say this on the mic, but any preference for the local sports and from other ones, Knicks, Nets, Rangers, Devils, anything like that? Looking um, forward to being in the building with all those guys. So, I'm sorry, say that again. I didn't really. Just are you a say a fan of some of the other sports locals that have fought here that have competed rather in this building and other sports? You know? Well, I mean the Knicks have always been uh, you know a big one here, so yeah. You yeah. Know. But are you like a Knicks fan or a Nets fan or I'm sorry, maybe I wasn't very clear on that. No, I mean I, I apologize. I don't really watch basketball to be honest with you. Uh, you know. Fair. So. <laughs> Fair enough. 